What is going on YouTube is Gadgets Boy and in front of us is Drift Compass. So uh, this is a new product out and this is pretty cool. I'm actually excited to use this. Uh, so the whole point of this is so you can attach it uh, in a quite innovative way. You can at attach it to yourself or you can attach it to different things. So you can just record your everyday life without having to worry about where the camera's placed, you know, can, can you see me taking selfies and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, so some of the specifications here on the on the actual box, the packaging here, it says drift compass in there, you got your mounting clip, you got a micro USB cable, you got a quick uh, guide to help you get started, and you got your drift lanyard as well. This is capable of recording 1080p HD videos, uh, 8 megapixel photos as well, you got live streaming, you can do photos and video time lapse, which is uh, really good and comes in handy. And then you got multiple mount options as well. Four hours of battery life in there, which is really good. You got 10 gig of cloud storage that comes with the app uh, once you download it for free from the app store and Wi-Fi. So you can live stream uh, right from this device here or you can just upload to the community. There's a community of uh, Compass uh, users and you can also, uh, if you'd like to use it as a, use your smartphone as a viewfinder. So quickly, uh, this is the app itself. Uh, so you got the option to uh, view your videos, your photos there. Uh, takes a little while there, just a quick loading option there. And then live streaming option, you get home, your friends, you can see your followers. If you tap this in the corner here, and then you can also see your cloud storage, your local files, and your app settings as well. Uh, but anyway, let's just take a look at this a bit more, uh, give this a bit more closer look there. So this has got a CMOS uh, sensor and it's got ISO sensitivity of between 50 and up to 6,400. So you should be able to capture decent low light imaging as well. It's got two gig of RAM, SD RAM DDR2 in there, and the lens is f2.2 uh, large aperture lens uh, without distortion, which is really good uh, for filming and taking photos and that kind of stuff. It's compatible with Mac and Windows uh, devices as well. This only weighs about 34 grams. It's really light. It's like there's nothing to it at all. And I kind of I like the shape uh, as it is there as well. Uh, so this will shoot 0 0.5 centimeters to infinity, which is pretty cool. And we'll record uh, MP4 files uh, for your uh, editing purposes and stuff. So this is where your micro SD card would go and that's your micro uh, USB port uh, there for transferring files and so on. So that's your camera lens as you can see there and you just need to tap and go. There's a button there that you can just tap and go to start recording and on the side is where your Wi-Fi uh, button is to connect to your smartphone and uh, you've got a remote control sort of indicator there as well. In terms of frame rate, so you can do 1080p at 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second and you can do photo at 5 megapixel, 8 megapixel and 12 meg megapixel as well. Obviously you can also record at 720p if you prefer. Uh, if you want to save uh, file storage and file size, you can do 25 frames per seconds, 30 frames per seconds, 50 frames per seconds and 60 frames uh, per second as well. Uh, Andy, so let's just take this out here. I, I really like the packaging as well. They've got, done a good job there. And uh, yeah, so that's your quick guide uh, stuff there. So do give that read to get started. That's your micro USB cable for connecting it up and transferring files and so on as your drift lanyard. There we go. So you got your lanyard there. You can kind of use that to hook it up on your wrist so you don't lose it. Uh, it's quite tiny, it's kind of small. And uh, this is your uh, clip. Just take that out as well. So you can see there, you can easily just clip it onto yourself and uh, use it on different mounts, which is pretty cool. And I've got, I've got this magnetic mount here. So if I just, uh, I'm just gonna rip this apart really badly there so here we go so you can mount it in there you can put the device in there as well so it serves like a case as well as a sort of like magnetic mount so you can mount it on metal and that kind of stuff which is pretty neat so but that's it really just a quick uh sort of unboxing and overview and hopefully i'll be recording some videos with this and then i uh, just share that with the community and put that put some of them online as well maybe a time lapse or, or something like that but anyway guys do let me know what you think drop any comments below any questions you have below uh pricing and information all that stuff will be in the description area in the meantime this is tommy you're watching gadgets boy catch you in the next one